Hi, I'm Jenny from Lisbon. Jenny from Aaron, Jenny Lisbon and Aaron. Um, and I'm going to talk about our new who is. Um, the first question you may have is why are we uh, putting out a new who is? The primary reason is that we are um, updating our database, our registration database, and uh, and making some enhancements to that, and it will affect our who is. Um, some of the things that we will be adding are different POC types, including abuse, administrative, NOC, and technical. Uh, we are introducing a new organizational object, and we are no longer requiring that um, you include IP addresses with the main servers. Some of the um, improvements that are specific to who is are that we are adding labels to everything, all the um, all the fields in who is to facilitate um, parsing by machines. Uh, we are going to include the registration date. We are providing um, CIDR notation for um, the IP blocks, and we are also identifying the upstream ISP handle. Some things that you need to know about uh, the beta testing is that the purpose of it is that um, people need to rewrite scripts. Probably, uh, I don't know, a very large percentage of our queries are coming from scripts and we need to give people time enough to uh, rewrite them. The data that's um, on the server is stale. It's, I, I believe it was um, done August, I'm um, sorry, April 30th and we have no intention of updating it later just because we don't want people mining that data. Um, the uh, queries can be answered on port 4344. Again, there's too many crawlers out there that find it on 43 and we want to limit the um, queries to just people that are actually uh, doing beta testing. We have not put any V6 uh, objects in the database yet. We will get to it, but we haven't done it yet. And uh, we are not um, completed uh, um, everything, and all the querying options uh, are not yet implemented. The name of the server is beta.aaron.net. Aaron, beta um, beta testing is open today. We will take um, any comments from you up until August 2nd, and then on the 12th of August, we will be releasing the new Who Is. We've set up a, a website that um, will tell you the various stages of the different features, and uh, we'll also list some of the known bugs. And um, there's also a link from there that will allow you to report any any bugs that you may find, or you can. Um, send them to our DBWG mailing list. Uh, we established the um, online tool so that you don't need to be um, a member of our list just to report some of your findings. And uh, that's it. I'd like to um, go over to or run some of the queries that we, that I want it. Um, you can either tell net to oh, I'm just it in here. Tell net to, to directly to it using uh, 40 and run a query, and it'll show you the new uh, show you whatever you have. Or if you can figure out how to um, set up your Whois client to go directly to 4344. You can do it that way. Uh, I, I'm going to run a couple of queries and show you some of the known bugs that, that we are aware of. As you can see on here, the first thing that pops out is that um, 
for if you do a query on a single AS, it is showing it as the start and the end, which, well, it's not necessarily wrong, but it really should only show this, the 45 in this case. Um, also on here, the comments field really shouldn't be displayed if there's no comments. We need to remove the time off the registration date and the last updated it is, it sh we actually have a date on this, it's just not showing up in here. Another known bug is that if you query on the um, on a slash eight, it finds both the AS and, and the slash eight. Um, another known bug is it's not working for partials. It's not returning anything. Um, another known bug is the CIDR notation isn't completely working properly. It's, it looks like it's um, pulling the, um, the first network number and the last CIDR blocks, or excuse me, the last CIDR prefix. Um, another thing that's not working is query. Any queries that have a comma in it, we will fix all these. We just couldn't get them all finished before today. Um, some of the advantages or some of the new things that are out there. is the, you'll see on here that the, the upstream network handle is here. And if you, know, if you do a query and you find that you're not getting any response from no, no mailbox at nowhere.com, you may want to go to the upstream and find out if you can get a POC from there. And here you can go do a quick query uh, against the upstream and find your POC there. Um, that ends my presentation, unless anybody has any questions. Well, we have time for a couple questions, if folks have any. Go ahead and step up to the microphone. No questions? Everyone gets it? Thanks a lot. Sure.